In this video, I will tell you the procedure and applications of paper chromatography. What is the procedure? 1. Selecting a suitable type of development. It is decided based on the complexity of the solvent, paper, mixture, etc. Usually ascending type or radial paper chromatography is used as they are easy to perform. Also, it is easy to handle. The chromatogram obtained is faster and the process is less time consuming. 2. Selecting a suitable filter paper. Selection of filter paper is done based on the size of the pores and the sample quality. 3. Prepare the sample. Sample preparation includes the dissolution of the sample in a suitable solvent, inert with the sample under analysis, used in making the mobile phase. 4. Spot the sample on the paper. Samples should be spotted at a proper position on the paper by using a capillary tube. 5. Chromatogram development. Chromatogram development is spotted by immersing the paper in the mobile phase. Due to the capillary action of paper, the mobile phase moves over the sample on the paper. 6. Paper drying and compound detection. Once the chromatogram is developed, the paper is dried using an air dryer. Also, detecting solution can be sprayed on the chromatogram developed paper and dried to identify the sample chromatogram spots. Now we will see some applications of paper chromatography. There are various applications of paper chromatography. Some of the uses of paper chromatography in different fields are discussed below. To study the process of fermentation and ripening. To check the purity of pharmaceuticals. To inspect cosmetics. To detect the adulterants. To detect the contaminants in drinks and foods. To examine the reaction mixtures in biochemical laboratories. To determine dopes and drugs in humans and animals. In the next video I will tell you the types of paper chromatography. Stay tuned.